So let's have a look at this six day itinerary from Natalia on YouTube. So she's got a six day North Island itinerary starting at the Auckland Airport. Auckland. Going to the Coromandel. Coromandel. Heading to Rotorua next. Rotorua. Then Hobbiton. Of course. Waitomo. Yeah. The Tongariro Alpine Crossing. Wow, yeah. And then the ferry to the South Island. So we'll go over this six day North Island itinerary right cool. now. Um, so obviously, yeah, Auckland Airport is where a lot of people do start their trip, so that's perfect. And Coromandel, the Coromandel is only about like an hour or two hours drive away from Auckland. So leave Auckland as soon as you can. So yeah. you, get, you get started. You have a lot planned. So up, oh, I'm just gonna. Can you guys see the map correctly? Um, yeah, I hope you do. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, cool. So Auckland to Coromandel, right here. Yep, so in the Coromandel, obviously there's quite a lot to do. You can go to Cathedral Cove, which is this beautiful beach. There's kayaking tours that run there. You can also just hike to the to the beach as well. There's all sorts of you can go scoo you can go scuba diving in the area. You can go and do boat trips around there. There's also hot water beach where you can dig yourself a little um hot pool in the sand which is really cool as well and that's not too far away from Cathedral Cove so that's an awesome place to start and then next we go to Rotorua. Okay, that, oh we go to Rotorua. What, should the change stop in Hobbiton on the way? What do you suggest? Well Hobbiton sort of, yeah more like on the line between Waitomo like yeah I think doing Hobbiton after Waitomo Okay, I, I would I would do that way and then I'll go here. Yeah, it would make much more sense. Okay, go yeah, yeah go for that. So, so let's Hobbiton, wait so, a moment. Yeah, so let let's change your itinerary a bit to go from the Coromandel to Hobbiton next. Um, you can't actually stay. I don't know if you're meaning to stay overnight in Hobbiton, but um, there's I think there's one hostel in Matamata, which is the town really close to um, Hobbiton, but there's quite limited accommodation around there. So I guess you would probably want to do Hobbiton on the way toward Waitomo, where you would maybe spend the night in Waitomo. There's quite a few accommodation options around there. So you're going to want to do basically Coromandel. And on the day you decide to leave Coromandel, during the day you do your Hobbiton tour, and then you finish your day in Waitomo, yeah. where you can do the tour. You know, they, they run the tour quite late. Um, but you can do the tour there or you can do it in the morning, but you're going to have a better time to find a spot for your motorhome because you're traveling in motorhome um, uh, for your motorhome in way to more. So that's where you're going to spend the night before then moving on to Rotorua. That would make more sense with what kind of the road you have and as well as the length that you're going to spend in each place. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. So then obviously way to more, glow worms, all of that. And then we're moving on to Rotorua. Yeah. So uh, we already did talk about all the stuff you can do in Rotorua, but just as a recap, there's lots of um, Maori tours, a lot of uh, evening Maori tours as well. So there's a lot to do on the night. There's geothermal parks you can choose. And there's actually so many geothermal parks. So I would recommend actually, you know, having a look at a few of the different ones rather than just going to Waio Tapu, which everyone knows about. There's actually a lot, a lot of other different choices as well and we'll make sure to link to some of the videos of the ones that we visited in Rotorua um, in the description below as well. There's also lots of hot pools and things you can enjoy there. There's some free hot pools too which you can scout out and we'll make sure we'll add a link to all those free ones. Um, so yeah, that's a lot to do in Rotorua. She can do an evening tour as well, a cultural tour. That's why I already Oh mentioned. yeah, okay, yeah. while I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so after you have had your jam-packed day in Rotorua, you can then head off to the Tongariro Alpine Crossing. On the way, you'll probably want to make a little bit of a pit stop in Topo, which is the place with the huge lake. Um, and there's lots of like, you know, supermarkets and eateries and all that. So you can, it's a good place to have a bit of a pit stop. And then when you make your way to the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, you will probably want to stay the night in the area around there, one of the little villages. Um, there's a village called National Park, and there's also a village called Whakapapa. And, um, that's where you want to base yourself for the night so that you can start the Tongariro crossing straight away in the morning the day after because that is a full day hike so you'll definitely want to have some accommodation beforehand. 
um, and, some, and some accommodation afterwards. So I'd say spend two nights there because um, you're going to be knackered after that. Yeah, uh, it is. It is hike. a pretty. It's a pretty tough hike. Yeah. But and then in the morning you wake up and you go down to Wellington. Wellington. So that's away. that is quite a long drive. How, that's about four, four, four hours. hours. Yeah, four hours. Yeah, but again, there'll be plenty of stuff to ch to stop by along the way. There's lots of really. Gorge, I would say. Oh, yep, yeah, there, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's towards Palmerston North, which means you will have to come off the main highway a little bit. It's a little bit of a detour, but it's definitely worth it. Um, yeah, and there's lots of really quirky little towns that you'll pass through. You'll see a giant plane in the middle of one of the towns. There's lots of sculptures. Uh, the gumboot capital of New Zealand is on that main highway down to, down to Wellington as well. There's, happy, yeah, so okay. yeah, there's a little town called Bulls where they have... Um, they have lots of puns around the town of like using the word bull. Um, I actually can't think of any of the puns they use though. Uh, uh, I don't know, like be responsible. And oh, yeah, at, yeah. At, at McDonald's as well, they have lots of bull themed like, you know, jokes and stuff. So there's some really weird, but fun towns yeah. <laughs> to pass through on the way down to Wellington. Basically it's a long drive, but really entertaining. Yeah. All right, so that's basically about seven days on the North Island, making your way down to the South Island. I think it uh, hits most of the main spots to see. Um, I think it's a, it's a really uh, you know clever amount of points. I just I would just change uh, the drive here uh, just to make it slightly easier, as we, we mentioned. It's up to you if you want to do that, but I think that's just uh, our opinion. Yeah. So yeah, 